the first current event I want to talk about, especially for you, I've been waiting for you, bro, because <laughs> Little Dirt got locked up. <laughs> I want to know your opinion because his he's man a, snitched, bro. He's so woody, bro. And since you are, yo, he got, his man snitched. <laughs> he's actually mad funny because he was around him for a minute before he snitched. I know, like he's just wearing a wire. But it's like, yo, if you're gonna talk about some like foolishness, like if you're gonna talk about like, yeah, we are gonna kill this thing and all that, why are you bringing more people? But like that was his like man's though. He got him a crib, a car, and some bread. He didn't think he had a whole wire on him for this this long a time. I know his man is crazy though. I know. I'm like, why, why would you? Why, is he is he okay? Like, like what did they have to offer him? What did you like, you could have just gotten more bread? Literally, you they, what did they? Yeah, what did they offer you? Like, you know, probably he probably got caught, and they said instead of us putting you in jail, you got to say, or you're going to jail for life. Oh, so you think because he got he was in jail for like twelve years before that? So you think he and got they caught him again? And we're like, yo, if you're going to go in for life this time, only way for you to avoid going in for life is walk around this wire on. You put this wire on and catch dirt. Dang, bro! Did you see the? Uh, there was like an interrogation video of him, like in the in the room, and they gave him like a bunch of McDonald's, <laughs> and he was he was fucking that shit up. Wait, was it? Re- nah, it wasn't really him. What? It wasn't Dirk. It was the other no, dude. The, the dude. It wasn't really him. No, it wasn't. It was him eating the McDonald's, bro. Like in the interrogation room, they was like, "Yeah, they fed him good before he started snitching, bro." You know, you know what I find it's funny as hell. Like when uh, people are like heckling a cop, yeah, and they have the camera like, "Yo, look at this pig, the stupid cop." And the cop would be like, thank you for all the information you've been giving us. You've been great for like... Yeah, no, for real. This would be killing me. Bro. And they like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, hey, yo, yo, you skater, yeah, there's people coming, so I don't want you to... I don't want them to know you're with us. Like, and it'd be <laughs> OD. That'd be killing me, bro. No, what be, what be having me dying? I don't know if y'all be... You be seeing like when the girls be tweaking out on their boyfriend after they cheat, like they break their car and like write cheater on the car. There was a boyfriend who... uh recorded his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend after like I guess he cheated or whatever and she was on top of his car smashing his car and she like spray painted everything and then the video pans over like I guess hours later the cops show up at her house and then she was like uh ma'am we have a video of you like vandalizing somebody's property and we'll have to take you into the station and she was like what I didn't do nothing and then she was like <laughs> he was like we have it on video He's like, he was like, we either come in the house, you either you come with us or we come in the house and we arrest you. She's like, no, you can't take me. I didn't do nothing wrong. And then her friend's like, she didn't do nothing. You ain't coming in this house without a warrant. She's like, bro, you got five seconds. We're going to come in here now. And then they went into the house and they ran away. <laughs> like they dipped and the cops had to tackle them. I'm like, bro, you literally you just really committed a crime. Caught, bro. And why are you surprised? That should be stupid as hell. Like, like you literally got caught. <laughs> you literally got caught jumping you on. Sit, uh, like the cheaters thing with Peter Guns. What's that? Peter Guns, I don't know who Peter Guns really is, but he like cheated on his wife and now he does like the thing where they go around catching people cheating on their girlfriend. Is that the one where he brings in somebody to like fake, like talk to the guy's girl or whatever? I mean something like nah, it's like you just catching cheaters basically. Oh, it's just like yeah, and, yeah. And dude got and dude got caught. He's like, wait, he's like, I'm Peter Guns, I'm with Cheaters Hotline, whatever. He's like, Peter Guns? Nigga, you cheated first. And, <laughs> and he was like, I did, brother, but now I'm doing this. He said, Bro, look out for me. What the hell? Like, <laughs> bro, that's just funny, so. That's too funny. But it's like, if you're doing... The, all right, so with Dirk, right? With his mm-hmm. mans. Say, do you think he was in the wrong for doing that? If they yeah. if they, if they, they offered him, like, they said, like, yo, we just caught you. We're giving, we're giving you life right now. But if instead of giving you life, you're going to have to wear this wire around him to build up this Rico charge. Would you do it? Like, would you do that personally? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you about to go to jail for life. I don't, you know, I'm not one of jail, so I do whatever I can to get not go to jail. So what if you, all right, what if he was in there like him 12 years and then it was like, all right, you know, what he should have done is not broke the law, but go ahead. Uh, that is true. Yeah, that would have been great. Uh, but he, they like, they catch him again and be like, yo, we know you be with Dirk all the time, but you didn't do nothing, but we're going to pin this on you, so you and you're going to go back to jail for another 12 years. Not, nah, it's impossible. That's impossible? Like, I didn't do anything. What do you mean? Or what if he, uh, what if he did something minor, like something where he can get maybe like, or what if they bring him back and they didn't save it for life is like 12 years, another 12 years. Yeah. That, that's where, that's what I said. Me personally, I'm not doing jail. So <laughs> regardless. So, yeah. I'm wearing the white. Like <laughs> I wouldn't even be around an individual who's doing like foolishly. I'd be like, Oh, by the way, I'm a snitch. Just so you know, like. It's like you guys have cocaine here. Just don't bring me back here again because if you guys bring me back here, I'm probably gonna feel me. Yeah. <laughs> like if you ever get caught, I'm not going down with the ship, bro. I'm not loyal, bro. Mm. Get me up out of here. So dang. Because he was doing that jump for years, though. Think yeah, about it. Like wearing that, it for years is crazy. I'll be scared as hell. Like, how you not get caught? 
Like I'm thinking he did it for like six Maybe months. Maybe they let him out early, like let him out early. You know, like hey, we'll let you out now if you wear a wire. Oh, so he probably had like twenty or something like that. Is like, all right, we'll let you out at twelve. Dang, that's crazy work, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, he probably gonna die. He definitely probably he's gonna die. It, well, he's putting witness protection now and all that. So. Yeah, but like how I was talking to Corey about that. Relocate him to like Wisconsin or something. Oh, uh, so you think he? Go, but how yeah. long can he be in witness protection for? Life. You can really be in there for life? Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd be in there for like, I thought it was only like months. No, you, I mean, it depends what happened. Like, so if in, in this case, you think he brought, he probably going to be safe for life, bro? Yeah, they're not going to keep him in Chicago. He's going to go somewhere like Wisconsin or something. And just change it. So what do they do? Is it like they put you in another place and they like change a name? Right. In Utah, there are no OTF niggas. <laughs> He's safe as hell in Utah. He can go to Utah or Wisconsin and there are zero OTF niggas over there. There's nobody over here claiming a fucking set. He'd be, wow, he'd be sure. bro. Yeah, he'd be good over here. That's crazy work, bro. It'd be your own man's, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. But nah, I ain't. I ain't. Damn. Depending on this, the depending on the severity, though. If I didn't do nothing, all right. What if he said something like this, right? You you already got out of prison. You're him. You already got out of prison, and since you be with Dirk and them, like he gave you the fifty bands, he gave you the he gave you the crib, he gave you the car. And he's and then the cop arrests you. Be like, yo, you part of Dirk? We're breaking a Rico ch- Rico charge. You are gonna go back to prison, but you because you are associated with them, something like that. And they were trying to pin some, not pin some stuff, but they're like uh, conspiracizing against them because he might have been involved with some other things. But they're like, instead of you going to jail, we'll wear you have to just wear this wire around him for the next couple years until we build up this Rico chase Rico charge, and you're not going to jail, but he's gonna go to jail. Would you still do it? Or yeah. you still <laughs> you still do it? I'm not going to jail. There's nothing. I'm not going to jail for nobody. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Your main man's. Why are you committing a crime? <laughs> my main man's. Why are you committing a crime? <laughs> that is true. You know I, I ain't saying? gonna lie. People would be saying like, "Nah, bro, I'm gonna take." Nah, y'all kind of dumb. I yeah. don't understand yeah. that logic. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm out. Like I I'm never, out. I never out. understood the logic where it's like, I never gonna snitch on my man's. If you did. like, granted, right. If you didn't do a thing wrong mm-hmm. and you still not and they're pinning it on you, but you know your man's did it, he's not really your friend for real. Like whoever came up with this logic is a genius. He should be taking that. Yeah, exactly. Especially if I didn't do it. There's no shot. If I didn't do it, I would never take an L for somebody. It's impossible. That's all I'm saying. It's physically but, impossible. <laughs> physically it, it's it's against the laws of physics. If you oh, t- if you kill five people, they're not gonna catch you. And they're like, we think it's you and I could go to court and get away with it. I'd be like, brother, they are bringing me to court. I'm not even going to hire a lawyer. I don't have bread for that. You need to come in here and say you did it or I'm going to tell them you did it. It's as simple. <laughs> as simple there's, as that? There's nothing I, yeah, there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. They caught you now. They caught you. They got. They caught me. They caught you. It's over. <laughs> they caught you, brother. You're cooked. Dang, bro. You think Dirk going to be in there for life, bro? You think he cooked? Yeah, but he'll be good, though. Why? He got bread. He's going to live like a king. Oh, you think so? And he has respect in the streets. But like, how good can you honestly live in prison? Like, is it, like, good enough? Yeah, you like, summer camp and shit. You don't have to... Yeah. <laughs> I think it compared to the summer camp. I mean, hood niggas is used to being around that shit, so it was like, you know. Oh, so he's used to be all right. Yeah, it'd be cool. Even the correctional officers would fuck with him. He's dirt. But I heard because he freaking sent two private jets to, like, two different locations. Like, he sent one to Italy and then sent the other one to, like, Greece. And then he went to Miami, and that's where he was going to get on his private jet. So, like, everybody don't know where he's at. I'm like, dang, he had a whole freaking plan for he this? He still got caught. And he still got caught, bro. <laughs> That's so ass, bro.